We're gonna take a look at this beautiful bright red Buick Regal Tourex. This is a 2019, as I said, and Nathan's gonna take you on a tour of the inside, show you all its technology, its comfort and convenience, how to use the different things, all the different buttons and cameras and all that stuff. You know, Nathan, that's what he loves to do. And I'm gonna take you for a review of the outside, talk about the styling, the horsepower, the ground clearance, the cargo capacity, all those cool things. And then Nathan, we get We're to take, take it for a ride. ride. Yeah. Then we'll give you our impressions of the ride and how everything feels to us and the overall uh, review of the interior as well. So what do you say, Nathan? Let's go for a ride. Let's go for a ride. Today with, with our friends at Snell Motors, Buick GMC Cadillac dealer in beautiful Mankato, Minnesota. So here we are in the 2019 Buick Regal Tour X, taking it for a ride. And um, I, I told Rob to go, you know, grab something from the back, and then I hop in the driver's seat. So I get to go first. Um, the headroom in this is very nice. There, there are several inches above your head, no matter where you sit. Um, the leg room, I have the seat adjusted up here for me, and I'm very comfortable. I went and sat behind me and well um behind my seat do you have an outer yeah. body experience i did <laughs> you should have seen it um but the, I, I had like well, eight, evidently you saw it <laughs> yeah i did so i had like eight inches of leg room uh so plenty of space in here um the road noise uh on the on the in town and in the highway is very minimal it's yeah. very quiet the one thing you will do, uh, you will notice just because of the way cars are designed right now, that if you're sitting in the front, like at a, and you're parked and the engine's running, and you have a front door open and the, like, you open the rear door, you will all of a sudden hear a lot more noise. But once you close that back door, it seals it all up and it's very quiet. Um, ride quality has been nice. I, I've been surprised. I think it rides, you know, really comfortably. Um, going over the rumble strips just fine and, you know, where they pave them on the road. And uh, yeah, I, I really like it. I, I've been sort of watching this when it first came, since it came out. And um, while I'm not in the market for a wagon, eventually I might be. And I, I, I like this one. Yeah, I'm surprised you talked about the noise level. Being that it's a wagon, of course, you've got all this huge interior space. And what I've seen in older wagons from other brands is you... You just have that reverb because it's all open space and it's hard surfaces. So this is very, very quiet. Yeah, it's been dampened. It does have acoustic uh, lining in the windshields at yep. the front windows to help reduce noises as well as uh, triple seals on the doors. So all that helps to, to reduce that noise level. But it is very comfortable and very quiet in here. So this is like a marine life vehicle because it's got triple seals and it's got a shark fin uh, antenna. So. You could say that, but only you would say that. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to pull over here and we're going to let Rob or, or, uh, or, or. take over and uh, give us his impressions of the car. Okay, so we're going to check out the acceleration and I'm at a standstill. We're going to turn the climate control off. and we're Trash gonna... control is okay. off. And here we go. 20, 30, 50, 60, right there. And we're gonna try the brakes. Ooh, it's good. Holy cow, my brain just went from the back of my head to the front. It's like, whoa, we're swimming. That's good. The seat, the seat belts work. Oh, the tensioners work well. And I wasn't even really, I mean, I was. it was a hard stop, but it wasn't a, a panic stop. So. And then all that wasn't a panic stop. No, it wasn't. I want to get out and ride with someone else. <laughs> all 
All right, now I'm gonna really make you sick because I'm gonna do some lazy S's. Oh. It's very responsive though. I mean, you, mm -hmm. you just, it, it reminds me a lot of the European cars, or even some Asian cars and how responsive they, it is. Um, yeah, it's almost like you just think about turning and it turns, it's very responsive. Yeah. And this is a tilt and, and telescoping. Yeah. Okay, yep, I like that, nice. Yeah, it's really got a lot of pep. That 250 horsepower and that 295 foot-pound of torque, that's where it's that's where really it's coming, from. coming off the line. There's a little bit of hesitation, but you really feel it kick in probably somewhere between yeah. 15 and 1800 RPMs. And it does have the auto st the um, auto start stop. Start stop, yeah. And uh, I did not see a feature uh, either in the driver's information center or the infotainment system to turn that off. Oh. So you're starting from in the engine off, which is never your best yeah so i imagine you'd probably lose 16, a couple of seconds with yeah. that because it's got to start it's got to spool up and then get you going so yeah i we didn't do a zero to 60 time we I, no but just the general feel of it yeah but it's certainly got enough pep to uh, uh merge off of uh on ramps oh yeah and or get to, up and pass uh, get up yeah you know what is it 50 to 60 pass or 40 to 50 whatever the the the, the gauge they use for a passing maneuver uh and then, then definitely the brakes are certainly grippy enough for uh, an easy panic stop as well car so nathan i know uh this isn't the end of our video this on this particular car we're doing the drive at the beginning of our video and then we're going to do the walk around in the interior yep. So I'm not gonna go through our spill of what we usually say, but we do uh, still wanna pick out our favorite thing of the vehicle. Have you yes. picked yours out? I have not actually at this point. Oh, you point. haven't, okay. No, but I've got, I just have to narrow it down. Okay, well I've got mine and I'll show you that video in just a moment. All right. Okay, so I talked about it earlier, so I just wanted to show you my favorite thing of this vehicle. It's this chrome piece that runs over the windows from the front A-pillar at the bottom of the A-pillar all the way to the back here at the D-pillar, and then it goes into the tail lights and back around. Just a little bit of chrome just, just to finish off those tail lights. That's my favorite thing. This car is the fact that it's so station wagon. And I love uh, the space, 75 cubic feet with the seats folded down, um, just tons of storage space. I mentioned earlier that I had been eyeing these uh, along with the, you know, the Mercedes version of their, their wagon. And um, I, I just, I like the concept. And I think maybe in the future this might be something I will be purchasing. I, I just love all that room. And yet it acts like a, a, a sedan. There are three different trim levels there is the uh, tourex basic with these these are with all-wheel drive as well i'm quoting the prices uh the basic trim level tourex starts at 29,070. the preferred with all-wheel drive starts at 33,595. and this particular model we're looking at today is the essence and it starts with all-wheel drive at 35,995. It does have a four-cylinder dual overhead cam design with direct injection and variable valve timing producing 250 horsepower and 290 pound-foot of torque. You do see halogen headlights. Uh, there are LED uh, optionals. Uh, it does have fog lights and then LED tail lights that includes uh, the LED signature lighting and I'll show you that in just a minute. There are 18 inch machine faced aluminum wheels with painted pockets paired with all season tires. These are P23550 R18s and they are all season. Now this does have McPherson front uh, five uh, McPherson front suspension and five link rear suspension and it does of course have four wheel anti-lock brakes. I like the uh, side indicator turn indicator light there. Now this does have heated power outside mirrors and it is an intelligent all-wheel drive with active twin clutch uh, that adjusts torque to the wheel with the most traction on slippery roads or around sharp corners automatically adjusting torque to rear wheels to optimize your traction and respond before any slip occurs now there is a hands-free programmable lift gate and nathan will show you that on the interior door handle later uh but or on the door panel excuse me driver's door panel there is an led logo projection the led projection marks the activation spot under the rear bumper i'm not sure we're going to get to see that really 
there it popped up and I really didn't see any light under there but it is light outside so I'm not quite sure I can imagine at nighttime though walking up to your bumper you're not quite sure where to put your foot but in the daytime it's pretty easy you kind of line it up with that rear backup sensor you see there and you go straight up under that and it's almost like you're kicking a ball and then it senses it and it goes ahead and opens up thank you nathan wonderful wonderful job modeling there take your bow and get out of my shot <laughs> <laughs> hey while you had it open let's let's try this again let me see if i can try it this time and get it to open it didn't like me earlier at the dealership so it's oh. the magic shoe. it didn't like me either then let's do it again it, it must be the magic That's shoe. That's how it's done, Rob. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll tell you that your maximum cargo volume on this vehicle, and we've got some things in there laid just for scale, uh, you're looking at 73 and a half cubic feet. Now, behind the, the uh, second row, as you see it now, without the seats folded down, you're looking at 32.7 cubic feet. This does have a 16.3 gallon fuel tank. The fuel mileage is 21 city. 29 highway with an estimated 24 combined now the wheelbase on this vehicle is 111.4 inches its overall length is 196.3 inches overall width 73.3 inches and its height 58.4 inches now just to take a couple of looks at the styling there is uh, one cut line on the bottom here that I really like and it swoops up there and of course the uh, plastic cladding along the bottom and over the wheel arches I do like I also like the little chrome sensor for the lock unlock here on the doors and Nathan has a key in his pocket right now so you're not hearing anything beep but I like that and I do like the brush stainless uh, roof rails on it as well I like the lines I like the lines in the hood the cut in the hood like the LED projector, the LED headlights and the halogen projectors and the big bold emblem and the front grille as well. Now I'll show you this, but I'll show you this again later in my favorite thing because this is one and the same. This chrome strip that comes all the way along the top of the window rail, all the way back by the D pillar. It cuts down into the rear tail lights. That is just a cool design. I really do like that. Now, I'll show you the back end here. You see the backup sensors and you see the two, two dual chrome exhaust tips and the reflectors back there. And this, like I said, this is the Regal Torex. So the Regal name has been a Buick staple for many, many years. And I think it's a smart idea for Buick to continue to use that name because the Regal has always been such a bestseller. I like the wheels on it as well like the overall shape it's a very nice uh, looking wagon I know the American market hasn't been a fan of wagons in many years but I got to tell you riding this uh, vehicle over to this area uh, it's it's very quiet it's very serene and we'll see a little bit more of that later like I said this is a four-cylinder engine it does put out 295 foot-pound of torque and it's 250 horsepower very peppy little little engine for this this is the echo tech did talk about the styling of this vehicle and i do like the lines however there is one concern that i have for this being more of a rugged type of uh, quasi off-road vehicle being that it's a all-wheel drive being that it's built to be a little bit more rugged i'm just wondering that if you're going to use this out in the weather quite a bit more this channel right through here right where the roof rail for the rack uh, bars is integrated to the top there's a vast cut out here so I've got to wonder over time rain snow debris it's all gonna build up in this channel and I'm just kind of a little concerned about that so all right Nathan I know you've been waiting and I think I'm just gonna ramble on a little bit more to make you wait a little bit longer <laughs> but I'm gonna let Nathan take you on a tour of the inside so come on folks let's go for a tour of the inside Nathan's just chomping at the bit to I show am. you all the let's buttons and switches here we go Nathan take it away all right, so here we are on the inside of the 2019 Buick Regal Tour X. And starting off with the door here, we've got nice soft touch surfaces. And right in here, this is a little bit of harder touch right here. We've got uh, the power locks there. You do have auto up and down uh, front windows uh, and regular rear windows. You've got some nice deep storage down in here. 
and you've got some extra storage right here maybe for um, coins and that kind of stuff you've got your tailgate sets right here and then uh, moving on over here to the driver's seat hey okay, we have got a two position memory right on here and then down here now buick labels this as a and the passenger passenger seat as eight-way power um i i would call this a 10-way power you got you got one two then the front three four back five six and then you got everything up seven everything down that's eight and then nine ten for recline and then you have uh, a two position lumbar and the passenger seat is exactly the same then uh, moving up over here to just the left of the steering wheel we have got your you press this and then you can set your dashboard lights the brightness and dimness this does have uh, auto lamps and then you can also of course turn them off completely or on manually and then your fog lamp button right here you have your trunk release down here you've got a nice left foot rest up here and then uh, we'll step in and give it a start this is a push start I always like it when dials do something when you start. I, I love that. And and all of, all four dials go, which I think is really cool. All right, so backing up. Wow, yeah, okay. Ooh. Okay, that was, uh, that was loud. Backing up here to the steering wheel, you've got, of course, uh, Buick puts the cruise control over here on the left, uh, and then your driver's information stuff and like stereo volume over here on the right um, basically this is your on off for your cruise this toggle down is your set it's also your the minus to uh, one mile per hour at a time if it's the cruise is set and that's uh, increased by one mile an hour and then that's also your resume button over here you have cruise control off you have your heated steering wheel and over here you've got your gap adjust for your uh, adaptive cruise control which this comes with and we'll talk about all the all the features that this has in a bit here uh, over here on the oh i forgot to mention this is your voice command for your phone and your audio over here you've got um, a four-way switch with a check mark button for your driver's information center so if i use the the uh, left and right arrows I will toggle through you can see the icons at the top so I'm on home and then I have it just information I have music I have navigation I have phone and then I have settings so I'm gonna go back here to home you do have to toggle all the way back with the left button to get to home I, on the home screen this is this is what you see there are no other options okay so I'm gonna click to the right and go to information now you'll notice the little scroll bar at the bottom Okay, so as I scroll up on these arrows on the steering wheel, let me focus a little bit more on that. Okay, you're going to see that thing go up and you'll see the information change. There's your tire pressure system, oil eye, fuel range, trips, and then back to your speed. If I, then I'm going to go over here to toggle right and go to the music icon. Okay, and if I hit the check mark button, okay, then I get my different sources. Okay, and then I can go back to my right and I go to navigation. So this does come equipped with navigation. So if I turn that on quickly, okay, um, you're going to get your directions in here, okay? which is always really nice. So you don't have to look at the screen. If I toggle one more to the right, you get your phone. Of course, there's none connected right now, but you would be able to access you know your phone features like uh, making calls and, and uh, listening to messages and that kind of stuff hey okay, one more over is your settings this is where you can change your units um, what's on your home page right here speed warning and then software information all right so that's the steering wheel controls I guess the only button I didn't mention was the uh, phone off button so this is to turn your phone off Moving over here to the infotainment center, this is a, a very nice eight-speaker Bose sound system. 
and uh, this this is your screen right here so you've got of course your audio your phone navigation climate typical things you'd expect to see Apple CarPlay Android Auto is included on this and then if we scroll over one more screen um, if you add apps to the car you can put a uh, those will show up here your OnStar services this is Wi-Fi spot hot this is hotspot capable so you can access that if you want and then you have marketplace going back one here oops uh, I'm gonna click on settings this is the one I want to show you okay so I'm gonna skip system here and apps and go to vehicle and then I'm gonna go down here you do have a rear seat reminder which is always nice so when you shut the car off it chimes and then gives you a warning in the driver's information center to check the rear seat but let's take a look at the collision and detection systems. This thing comes loaded with a lot of different things. You get forward collision system uh, warning, you get front pedestrian detection, you get adaptive cruise control, lane change alert, um, and then rear cross traffic alert, which is really nice. Um, and adaptive, yeah, I said adaptive cruise control. All right, so you do have, all this is, Although this is all touchscreen, you do have physical buttons for the home screen and the back button here. You do have a traction control off button down here as well as your hazards. This is your, of course, your power for your uh, media, Von volume control right here. And then, you know, fast forward or skip. Okay. These buttons over here will skip through uh, like radio stations for you. Or if you're on Bluetooth on, on, uh, on a song, they'll skip to the next one. So those look, these work the same as the seek buttons basically do right here. Down here you have dual zone climate control and you get a nice digital readout on either side. You got heated seats both sides. Okay, And you do have some of the physical controls right here as far as your fan speed. Um, if you want the full menu you can just click on the climate button here and it shows up right here that's kind of a nice feature that you can press a physical button uh, in the climate control settings and then get this screen um, if the one the one thing is kind of an interesting thing if I change this right now they're, they're synced so if I change this one and I want to sync it back I do need to go into the infotainment system to get to the sync button Okay, so they don't actually have a sync button that's, usually we see that somewhere down around here and, it, and they don't have that there. But it is dual zone climate control. Okay. Um, down here, you have got uh, dual cup holders in the front. Okay, this does pull back and cover. It's got a nice uh, fake wood grain finish on there. Okay, so down here, right in front of the shifter, you do have your lane keeping assist uh, button down here. You also have your parking assist button down here to turn on and off. All right, you do have an electronic parking brake. I think it's kind of interesting if you look at the shifter here. My foot right now, the car is running and my foot's on the brake. But if I take my foot off the brake, it shows that the brake is on and that you need to apply your foot before you can shift. That's the first time I've seen that. All right, it does have a um, sort of a, a tiptonic shifting. If you uh, bring it down to drive and then you pull the shift lever over to the left, then you can, and I don't necessarily show up here because my car is not running um, and it will not let you just shift through gears if the car isn't running, but you can shift manually. Okay, moving on back here past the electronic parking brake, you do have an additional cup holder here. And then over here, you do have um, one of my favorite features, and that is your wireless charging port. And this is the first time I've seen it go straight down, which is, I think is a smart design, especially since you can connect your phone to the car wirelessly anyways uh, through Bluetooth. You sit in there, close the uh, compartment, and it's out of view. Down here, you do have two USB ports. Uh, that will work with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You do have a SIM card or an SD card right here that um, would be for navigation, and you do have a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary jack. Um, you do have some small other storage around that. Um, as this car doesn't have CD players, it, it is not built to design or designed to hold something that size, um, but will hold other smaller items. 
Moving on up here to the glove compartment. It is nice and dampened. It is felt lined in this particular model. Okay. And you have very nice uh, soft touch everywhere on the dashboard here, down in here. Okay. You've got some black piano trim along with some chrome accents on the top, which is nice. And uh, you do have a, a tilt and telescoping a manual tilt and telescoping wheel. I can think you can see the lever down here. You just pull that down and adjust the steering wheel and then clamp it back up again. Okay, uh, moving on up to the top, you've got visors here. Uh, they are illuminated, uh, but they are not tilt or telescoping. They are just standard set where they're at. Of course, you can swivel it over to the window if you want. Uh, up here, you've got your home link buttons right here, and you have your, your reading lights, and then, of course, your uh, OnStar and your SOS button, as well as your dome lights on or off, and your setting for when your dome lights come on. All right, it does have an automatic dimming rear view mirror. And that being said, let's step into the back. Step into the back, we've got nice soft touch materials and you know your power window uh, button you've got nice chrome trim for the uh, door handle and then again with the uh, fake wood grain going around here looks very nice you do have some storage down here that's fairly deep takes almost my whole hand uh, and then a nice uh, hole for grabbing the door i like that when it goes all the way through um, that's just a preference from of mine uh, both seats have seat back pockets which i like and then if we take a look back here, this is a 40-60 um, a split seat. You can get an option that is a 40-20-40 split seat. Okay. And we'll step in here. And you can see we have about 8 inches of room. So really, really roomy back here. Very comfortable. Um, you got two USB ports along with your uh, air vents here. And then um, you do have an armrest that you can pull down along with cup holders. Okay. Or if you want to pass through, you can grab this little lever here and take the whole thing down, which makes for a really nice, easy uh, pass through access to the back. And then in terms of uh, 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 headroom, I've got, I've got plenty. There's a, a good finger's width, so a couple inches. Yep, that's it. Nathan, today we're going to take a look at this beautiful, beautiful, bright red Buick Regal Tour X. I'm going to take you for a, a view and a review, excuse me, of the outside. I got to get that right. Let's. He's going to do something on the that's outside. That's a blooper reel. So here we go. There he goes. All right. So we are on. Is this the exit? No. So we are on a ride. It? Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> this is the exit. <laughs> All right. Nathan, will you pop the hood? We'll take a look at the uh, the engine. I got some pictures of it, and we can take a look at it as well. Nope, it doesn't. It doesn't pop that way. You don't have a sensor there. What? <laughs> There's a handle on the dashboard. You got to oh, actually man. pop.